What is up, New World Explorers, Adventurers, and Friends? Before I get started with today's video, quick shout out and thank you to all the subscribers. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing if you find the content helpful or enjoyable. We're at 1,592 out of 1,600, so be cool to hit 1,600 with this video. That being said, I won't procrastinate any longer and we'll get started with the video. So this is part seven of our gold making slash farming slash saving series. Most of it's garnered toward newer players and we're gonna be doing aura calcum routes today. So with our first route, we'll get started. All right, for spot number one, we're gonna head over to Eden Grove and we can either go to the Genesis Shrine or the shrine on the border there with uh, Great Cleave. We're gonna come in and we're gonna head over to where the Bladed Rise is. And basically we're gonna run along the edge of the mountain and it's a pretty busy spot, but there are tons and tons of nodes there. So I'll show you here in just a sec. This spot has 19 to 20 nodes and it's pretty busy because it's really easy to get to and there's no mobs at all to bother you. Um, if you go off to the left there a little bit up in the marshes, there's a treasure chest and some of the elemental, basically the rocks there. So you can just long, run along this ledge and there's 19 or 20 nodes. And if there's nobody around, it's a really good spot to farm. So we'll move on to spot number two. All right, let's get cracking to spot number two. So now we're going to head to the uh, Merc Guard fast travel point in the Shattered Mountains. And we're going to drop down in the ravine. And basically down here, there's 20 nodes that you can just run through where Pit Lord Dehi is. So you can also farm that guy for the Corrupted Totem for the Major Corrupted Trophy. Uh, the mobs aren't here aren't too bad, but there are a lot of them. Some of them respawn pretty quick. But you're going to first drop down, you're going to kill the Tendril and these other mobs. And there's three nodes here. And as you go up farther, there's two nodes. And then there are two areas that have tendrils around them. They're like, a, it looks like a little pit that comes out of the ground, like with spikes, and there'll be a couple nodes around there. And then a little bit farther off to the right, there's some more nodes. So just run through there. There's also some treasure chests. And like I said, you'll come up to Pit Lord Dehi and you can fight him for some legendary gear that you can salvage into dark matter, as well as the uh, corrupted major trophy crafting item, the corrupted totem. For spot three, we head to another fairly easy popular spot. You'll recognize this from my star metal guide. It's the Imperial Shrine fast travel point. And basically you're gonna run the round circles around the mountains there, around the ocean. And it's the same as that for the star metal. So if you watch that video, you'll notice, but mainly on the left-hand side is where the Aura Calcum is. So there's like eight or nine nodes there, a couple on the east side, along with 20 or 30 star metal ores. So there are also some elemental creatures around, so you can make good, good gold from this. Uh, for spot four, you essentially just head into Brimstone Sands, and then you're going to go over here to the settlement on the left-hand side, and then these uh, Castum, Trigometus, and Vindictus, and then a little farther down, there's a few ores in each of these, not a lot, so you can go over there and hit those, and then also you can glob farm at the same time, so you can get the ectoplasmic globs and those sell for good gold so really quick overview of that spot as there's not much to say you just go in this i'm gonna say now that spot five if there's no one around is definitely the best spot there's like 20 nodes uh they're all along the cliff here so you go to sirens run fast travel point in reek water head south to the climb and you hit up on the mountain there um i already went through once and then, then somebody else came through so i'll just ride my horse through but you can see all these nodes just run along the edge of the cliff be careful um if you do it on a horse, you got to be really careful because you can fall off and then you have to come back around. But if you just jump off, you can stay pretty well. See right there is three nodes, down here is another two. And then when you get to the very bottom here, you can run over to the right and you see that big mountain that's popping out. You can go over there and there's some lodestone around the base of that. There's like three nodes. So like you see on the horse there, I fell off. But see the lodestone over there so you can get that. And also out in the water, there's uh, Azoth Spring and then up on the the climb itself there there are some treasure chests and mobs to kill so thanks very much for watching i made this video pretty short today i'm hoping it helps if it does please consider liking and subscribing joining the channel appreciate it very much and i'll see you in the next video which will be uh, mithril or farming routes